who don't like shader graph and we didn't post any new shader graph videos since a long time all the previous video we did are in 2d environment and this time we decided to do our first 3d shader graph in this video we will show you how to create this magical plasma orb probably we'll divide the video into two clips first one we will discuss how to create this shader graph the second one i added some additional vfs graph to give this glowy edges or sun rays around the orb so without any delays let's get started create new unity project using the universal render pipeline template then feel free to use the uh, scene which is provided by default or you can download like I did uh, another scene or environment provided in the unity asset store it's called 3d free module kit I'll provide the link in the description below just make sure to skip installing the dependencies because it will install the post-processing codes which conflict with the universal rendering pipeline. Now open the test map scene, you will see everything is pink because we need to upgrade the materials to fit with the universal rendering pipeline. So go to edit render pipeline, universal rendering pipeline and upgrade the materials from there. I am object to the sample scene and disable or delete the example assets we proceed make sure to enable opaque texture and depth texture in your render pipeline to render the transparency correctly we need a glowy sphere to represent the core of the orb so let's create 3d game object sphere and create a new material for it then enable the emission then click on the color palette and choose the color you like i choose maybe something like light blue and increase the intensity to give the glow in the scene now let's create the outer sphere and make it double size of the inner sphere then you can drag the inner sphere inside the outer sphere I mean make it a child of it and make sure the position is 0 on XYZ let's create a new material for the outer sphere and now we are ready to create our shader graph create shader and select PBR graph let's name it plasma double click on it to open the first thing we need to do is to make the sphere transparent and renders what's behind it so let's go to the PBR master and change the surface mode to transparent but we forgot to apply the material for the outer sphere so let's first drag the shader onto the outer sphere material then drag the material onto the outer sphere in the scene to make a material renders what's behind it we need only two nodes a screen position to get the position of each point behind the material then we blend it with a scene color to get the color of each point at its exact location then we link those to the emissions on the master node save and now we should see through the outer sphere but that didn't happen seems I by mistake dragged the outer sphere material onto the inner sphere by mistake so let's drag the outer sphere material to the outer sphere and the inner sphere material to the inner sphere again as you can see now the sphere renders what's behind it perfectly then I googled for some electric textures and find some I provided the link for them in the description below now we will create a scrolling textures to give the feeling of electric field going inside the sphere so create a sample texture 2d node then add a property texture property and let's name it electric texture then drag that texture property and link it to the sample texture 2d now we need to scroll that texture over time so we need a time node and also we need a property let's name it scrolling speed and set the default speed to 0.1 then multiply the time with the scrolling speed using the multiply node then create tiling and offset node and link the output of the multiply to the offset in the tiling and offset node 
and link the results to the UV on the sample texture 2D. Now, we can create another sample texture 2D and make it move the opposite way of the first one. So, create sample texture 2D node and link the scrolling texture to it. Then, from the multiply node, we need one minus node. Then we link it to another tiling and offset node and link it to the UV of the second sample texture 2D. Then we can add those textures together using an add node and link both the sample texture 2D to them. And to control the color, we need a color property and let's name it color texture. Then we multiply it with the results of the add. We can choose any color you want. I choose uh, light blue and make sure to set the color mode to HDR to get a glow effect. Then link the results to the albedo on the master node. Let's save and go back to the scene. We can now see this, those electric waves textures moving around the surface of the sphere perfectly. Oops, seems the inner sphere still have the outer sphere material. So let's drag the inner sphere material back to the inner sphere to get that glowy core. Now to give the sphere a feeling of it's made of liquid or like floating water or like a plasma sphere, we need to move the vertices of the sphere based on the normal direction of each point to make waves on the surface and to do this let's first back to the shader group all the nodes related to the texture and let's name it the scrolling texture now to gain access to each vertices of the sphere we need a position node and change the space to object instead of world we need to move each point over time so let's create a time node and then we need a parameter vector one let's call it surface movement speed then we multiply that with the time using multiply node let's set the default speed to 0.1 for now multiply the time with the surface movement speed then add that to the position then to give this random noise for each vertices of the sphere we need a simple noise node and let's create a parameter vector1 called noise scale to control the scale of the noise then we can multiply that parameter with the simple noise using multiply node then add normal vector node because we want to move each vertices in the direction it's facing then we multiply the results with the normal vector using multiply node and finally we add all the changes we did to the original position of each vertices using position node and select object then link the output to the vertex position at the master node save and let's go back to the scene and see what happened there as you can see now the sphere is moving randomly using the noise we created but we need to control that in a better way so let's adjust the noise scale or the movement speed also change the movement speed to 0 0.01 is good i think then change the noise scale to 0 0.1 to get this nice uh, floating liquid feeling or the feeling of the plasma sphere now we need to do uh, the final thing which is my favorite part to make anything behind the plasma sphere getting distorted because for now it's just transparent but we want to give the feeling that the light is getting distorted uh, through this sphere and give the feeling of something like when you look through the water everything looks distorted so to do this let's first organize the shader graph by grouping all the nodes related to moving the surface and let's name them surface movement and i rearrange things so to avoid getting spaghetti with the nodes now to start this distortion effect we need a twirl node so let's create that then we need to move the twirl node over time so let's create a time node and to control the speed of the movement let's create distortion speed 
parameter it's vector 1 then we multiply the time with the distortion speed then we link them to the twirl and finally let's create a gradient noise which will be controlled by the twirl movement over time till now this twirl is just a texture and the magical trick here is just to add a normal from height node which converts this texture to a normal map node this will give this nice distortion effect to the screen so then we multiply this normal from height node with the screen position then we add it again to the screen position to give this extrude or distortion effect then we link it to the scene color let's save and go back to the scene we now can see this nice distortion effect it's like now a floating liquid in the space or something like plasma sphere as we said and it's it distorts all the lights inside it and behind it and as a final touch we can make this more interesting by adding or controlling the edges of the sphere we can give a color to the edges of sphere let's first group regroup all the nodes related to the distortion effect and name them the distortion effect so let's create a Fresnel effect node which will create that ring around the sphere and to control the thickness or the border size of that Fresnel node let's create a vector1 parameter let's name it border size and link it to the power of the Fresnel effect node set the default value to 2 for now then to control the color of this ring or the border let's create new color parameter name it border color then multiply it with the fresnel effect i change the color mode to hdr and choose some purplish color and increase the alpha to maximum then multiply the color with fresnel effect using multiply node additionally to have more control over this fresnel effect we can create a new parameter name it border power and add uh, a power node to control the strength or how vivid this ring will be on the screen so let's create a new parameter border power then use a power node to control the strength of this ring and finally we use an add node to add the results of the scrolling texture to this fresnel effect let's save and see what we got we now finalize the effect, we can control everything from the inspector, we can change the colors of the inner core, we can change the color of the frenzel, we can change the texture that is scrolling the speed of it and even the color of it and also change the movement of the surface to control this uh, liquid sphere or plasma sphere uh, feeling so that's all for today's video we created this awesome plasma magical sphere using shader graph and in the next video i'll show you how to create this vfx graph around it which gives this electric sphere made of particles of the vfx graph and those rays that emitting from the core of the orb if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. To our awesome supporters on Patreon, Sun Wook Su, Joshua Kratoshvel, Little Fox, Parker Nelson, Jackie Mar GR, Giacomo Marini, Falcon Jazz, Face Lefever, Pedro, Transongs, James Valentine, Juko Opuni, Rick Japolski, Jack Crystal and Mohammed Aydin. Till next video, see you soon.